हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज डॉक्टर किरण पोदार अंगड़ी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट बेलगावी इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर डेरिवेशन रिलेटेड टू पोलार करू दैट इज लेंथ ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम पोल टू द टेंजेंट देन मींस लेंथ ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर मींस 90 डिग्री from pole to the tangent means what this is a pole o is a origin which is nothing but a pole from here to tangent we are going to draw one uh, perpendicular line and the length of that line is going to be calculated so very first what to do let us take this x axis and y axis graph and let us start with the known thing what is that let us take o be the pole O be the pole. This is origin, or else we can call it as a pole. Then O L be the initial line. O L will be initial line means I'll take uh, one point here that is called as L. So up till from O to L, it will be a initial line. Then let us take. P of r theta. This be any point on any point on the curve on the curve r is equal to f of theta. Means we need a curve here. We need one curve. What is that uh, curve? Says the curve is in polar form. so it is its equation is r is equal to f of theta so i'll be taking one curve here so this curve and its equation is r is equal to f of theta fine then comes uh, the distance p which is there on a curve p is there on a curve so this point is taken as p now with r and theta okay then what to do the distance from o to p the distance from o to p will be taken as r and r is nothing but a radius vector therefore what i do i'll be taking here the distance from o to p is equal to r which is nothing but radius vector this is called as radius vector then automatically what happens when this is been drawn then automatically there will be an angle between initial line and a radius vector that is called as a theta therefore the angle lop if you take the angle lop which is equal to theta and this is called as vectorial angle vectorial angle between initial line and radius vector now what to do now we take one extra point what is that let us draw let us draw uh, o n let us draw o n which will be taken as small p let us say this as small p now i want to know where this o n comes o n comes O is the origin. Then I'll be taking one point that is called as O n. Therefore, I'll be taking this point somewhere here. Somewhere here, this is called as n, and the distance from here to here is p. Then we need to draw a perpendicular line. Perpendicular line. For this, we need to draw one tangent. Tangent will be drawn. from here if this is been drawn as a tangent and uh, here it is n so if this distance is been joined this distance is been joined so this distance from o to n is called as p small p okay so we can see here here we will be getting 90 degree angle here will be getting 90 degree angle therefore what we have done we have drawn O n is equal to p, where perpendicular 
perpendicular from the pole this is a pole and this is a tangent from pole to the tangent if you see this title what it says length of the perpendicular from pole to the tangent means from, we have drawn a line from pole to the tangent so this distance p which has to be calculated this length means p has to be calculated that is the meaning of this entire title which is given here okay so this is drawn at a point m now what are the other things we get as per our previous discussion we know that the angle between radius vector and tangent will be treated as pi either you take here or you take inside pi okay therefore let pi be the angle between angle between radius vector and tangent this is a pi which is nothing but the angle between radius vector and tangent in between these two okay then uh, let us take uh, some more description here if we take it from a figure which is nothing but o n p angle o n p what is that angle o n p which is nothing but 90 degree 90 degree and uh, here angle angle l o p l o p is equal to theta because these are the angles now then angle between radius vector and a tangent that can be taken as o p n angle o p n which is equal to pi these are the three different angles which we have obtained from this diagram now therefore uh, again from right angle triangle what is the which is the right angle triangle now you can see here this is a right angle triangle so we can see here this is a right angle triangle because it is subtended an angle 90 degree with this right angle triangle which is nothing but o n p where what will be uh, sin theta sorry sin pi i'll take pi here from this one this is the pi if i see the things from here what is sign opposite by adjacent what is opposite opposite is o n adjacent is o p therefore sine pi is equal to o n divided by o p what is o n o n is nothing but the distance that is called as p now small p divided by op op is what op is nothing but radius vector r therefore it is p by r therefore we can write what is p now p is nothing but r into sin pi this is very important result in this context because this is nothing but it represents this equation represents length of perpendicular from pole to tangent this is a basic expression basic expression but one point we need to observe here what we have no doubt as per the title this is the result but here in the result what is there p is equal to r into sin pi again what is pi pi is nothing but angle between the radius vector and the tangent that has to be calculated so if i get one example uh, expression which provides me a uh, angle theta that will be better for me so in this view what we do instead of stopping here we continue from here again if we continue from here again what we will be getting we will be getting next result so for that what to do now what to do so let me consider 
P is equal to R sine pi sine pi means what to get next result I will call it as equation number 1 and we know that we know that cot pi is equal to which we have discussed in a previous derivation angle between radius vector and tangent that is nothing but 1 divided by r into dr by d theta this is equation number 2 with these two results what we can do uh, let me take squaring equation number 1 and uh, taking its reciprocal if I take equation number 1, if I square and if I take its reciprocal, this will be equal to 1 divided by p square, which is nothing but 1 divided by r square into sin square pi. Therefore, we know that this is nothing but 1 divided by r square and 1 divided by sin square is nothing but cos x square pi. But again we know that 1 divided by p square is equal to 1 divided by r square into How do you write this cos x square? Cos x square can be written as 1 plus cot square. This is nothing but 1 plus cot square pi. Therefore if you expand this or else if you utilize the, the expression of cot that is nothing but from equation number 2. If we use the result from equation number 2, let us see what happens now. If that equation is taken from equation number 2, which is nothing but cot pi is equal to 1 by r into dr by d theta. If that is substituted in place of cot, then this will be 1 divided by p square is equal to 1 divided by r square into 1 plus cot is nothing but 1 by r into dr by d theta the square which is nothing but if you take its uh, expression then it becomes 1 divided by r square into 1 plus this is nothing but 1 by r square 1 by r square into 1 by r square will be 1 divided by r raised to 4 into dr by d theta the square which is nothing but 1 divided by p square. 1 divided by p square again what happens this is one more expression what we have got this is another expression which is very much required to solve the examples of finding the length of the perpendicular from pole to the tangent so this expression is also same this is also same but sometimes what happens we need uh, to go with some other format when we need to go with some other format I will be taking this as equation, perfect equation, no doubt. Suppose if I substitute something, instead of taking uh, uh, this uh, dr by d theta, if I take some other notation, what happens? Let us take 1 divided by r is equal to u. Then what happens if you differentiate this with respect to theta? Means, if you differentiate with respect to theta, this will be minus 1 divided by r square into differentiation of r is a dr by d theta which is equal to du by d theta fine if you apply squaring on both sides squaring on both sides if you take what happens whole square means it is 1 divided by r raised to 4 into dr by d theta the square which is equal to du by d theta the square Fine. If you substitute this result 1 by r raised to 4 into dr by d theta raised to 2 here in this place, then what happens if I will be calling it as equation number, I uh, will give some numbers to these equations now. So this will be taken as 1 and this will be taken as 2. Then equation number, sorry these are already we have taken 1 and 2. Therefore this equation 3 equation number 3 becomes now you can see 1 divided by p square is equal to 1 by r square 1 by r is equal to u though so it is 
u square u square plus 1 divided by r raised to 4 into dr by d theta the whole square this is nothing but du by d theta d square du by d theta d square okay so this is another expression so in a same under the same title now we are having three different results one p is equal to r into sin pi second 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r is to 4 into dr by d theta d square third 1 by p square is equal to u square plus du by d theta d square means all these three uh, three results uh, provides a same meaning sometimes what happens the same example will come so that sometimes they may say uh, deduce 